Roxbury Community College is starting a new partnership with CVS along with providing new learning opportunities. The college is also raising money for its Media Arts Center and planning a music festival on Saturday. To bring us up to date, we'd like to welcome the college president, Dr. Valerie Robertson, and Vice President Lorita Williams. Thank you both very much for being Thank with you. us. Thank you. It's good happy to be here. I want to start with uh, Dr. Robertson. Uh, the CVS program, it, it's Certainly. up and running. Uh, so what's involved in this? Well, we have a great partner in CVS Pharmacy, and in fact, um, through working with our interns who are in pharmacy tech, um, they decided that they would help us by developing a brand new laboratory. This will be a training center for students who are involved in pharmacy tech training, um, both incumbent workers from CVS as well as individuals from the community who want to learn about that profession. And it's an opportunity for us to have state-of-the-art training facilities that really mirror what they will work in in a CVS pharmacy. And uh, there are different kinds of training here. This isn't just for you know either um, you know helping customers find merchandise. This mm -hmm. is about you know uh, pharmacy technology mm -hmm. or even management positions. Certainly, I mean there are so many positions within CVS that. When they started to talk to us about the pharmacy training program, we also started to talk about business management, just as an example. And um, we'll be working jointly with them to recruit individuals who go into that field. If they are selected and they get into the management training program, they will take that training program just as it is at CVS, but the college will then award college credit towards the associate's degree in business management for those individuals who successfully complete the training. And, and as in healthcare overall, this is a field that, that requires diversity. In oh, the workforce. certainly, certainly. And in fact, CVS concern is that they have stores on every corner in a diverse neighborhoods. And so they really wanted to recruit individuals from that neighborhood to be able to work in the community. Rudy Williams, uh, there is a campaign that was started recently to raise money for the Media Arts Center. We've done some stories and it's a nice space. So what's going to be happening there? Oh, it's a beautiful space. Well, we're having uh, the renovations for the, for the auditorium. So there's some other renovations that are taking place through the state. What we're focused on through the campaign is actually renovating the auditorium. New seats, new lighting, new sound new carpeting, just a whole, the inside, totally redone. And then starting to use the Media Arts Center to, to, do, to provide greater service to the community. It seats 500. It's not very well utilized. So part of it is the, the condition. So once that's done, we will be partnering with other nonprofits, with other theater groups, to start using the center. We're right on the T, right across the street. Great parking. And so we're really starting to partner with Arts Emerson with some of their programs that we can share, uh, have those programs come to Roxbury Community College. And we're really moving to have that become a first class, a small community theater where we're really doing all kinds of programs, including having more of our students do programming there as well. Well, speaking of, of, of the art scene, uh, Dr. Robertson, you have an event coming up in a couple of days. We certainly do. It's our third annual Roxbury Rocks Music Festival. This is an opportunity for people in the community to learn more about the college, but also have a great day of fun with um, their family, children, activities, and, and all ages are welcome. What, uh, what kind of music are we talking about here? Oh, we have a great lineup this year. Um, Ron Reed, who is a um, Caribbean musician at jazz, one of the professors from Berkeley, is going to be one of the individuals that um, really rocks the house. He'll be bringing some of his students. Um, we also have, uh, through our partnership with um, the Boston Youth Symphony. Some of the students will be there to perform, and this will give a broad range of um, music, from mm. everything from classical to jazz to reggae to funk. We'll, we'll just have music for everybody. And you're going to be honoring some people too, I think? We certainly know. will, yeah. Some uh, community individuals who have made a difference for the college. So one, how, um, Haywood mm. Fennell, who has been um, a real strong advocate for veterans, for the arts. Um, he's written a book himself, and so we want to honor the commitment that he's made to the Roxbury community. Also, um, Representative Gloria Fox, who uh, many may know that she is um, a strong advocate for Roxbury Community College and has been a member of the legislature. She's the first African-American um, legislator 
and um, has held that position for many years. So we want to just honor her career and as well. the exact time of this is going to be Saturday? It starts at 12 and it ends at 5 o'clock. Uh, Larita, I want to ask you also about uh, you know, new programs and, when, and getting ready for the next semester. Is, is there still time for people to sign up for that? Open enrollment. You can start registration. Registration is open-ended, so you can register any day, every day. In fact, you can even register uh, during the festival. We'll have someone there to take, uh, for those who are interested, anytime. So open enrollment, uh, we're taking reservations, or well, reservations, well, <laughs> feels like reservations. Enrollments now for the fall semester, and that will be going on straight uh, through September 2nd. And you get more details on the web too, right? www.rcc.mass.edu. You can go there and find any information you want about our programs and registration. Thank you both very much, Lorita Williams and Dr. Valerie Robertson.